Okay, so last weekend we didn't have very much luck doing any kind of Halloween hunting. For some reason, all the stuff out here in California comes out late. Well, later than everywhere else. It's not exactly late. It's beginning of August still. Um, but nothing comes out until later on. Everything on the on the East Coast and Midwest seems to be out already. But nothing here, unfortunately. So we're going to go back out this weekend, and we're going to check out some more stores. Um, I know there is a Spirit Halloween open down in Santa Cruz, which is about... I don't know 50 miles from me so I'm not gonna go down there just for you know the spirit um, but we're gonna look around my area and see if there's anything else that's back out we're gonna check out Lowe's we'll check out Home Depot um, I think I'm gonna check out a couple thrift stores as well because they normally put out you know Halloween specific items as well so we're gonna do all that today I got Mikey with me right here so Mikey's gonna come along for the ride and we're gonna go uh, yeah, we're going to do some Halloween hunting. So, And also, if I see any garage sales um, along the way, we're going to check those out too. So, all right, let's go have some fun. All right, we're going to give Savers a try. It's a huge thrift store. One city over from me that I love, love to go to for so many different things. And normally they'll put a Halloween section like right here in front, but not yet. So let's go look around because there might be a couple other places to check out. All right, not Halloween, but this would be a cool prop for a haunt. Look at this, you got this lamp here, and it's got like this built-in birdcage thing. That is cool, like, and look, it's even got a stripper pole for the bird. That's awesome. <laughs> this is just pretty cool, I like it. That's that's very unique, I've never seen a birdcage lamp. That's fun. All right, I wasn't even paying attention, but here's a black light. Got a cool teal light effects. Black light bolt, six ninety nine. Huh. I'm gonna go plug this in and see if this works. This is pretty cool. We got a couple creepy dolls here that would work perfect. Four ninety nine. That's cool. Look at her eyes. Ooh, I like it. She's nice and creepy. Kind of a perfect doll for like a, a kid's room. For a scary, this one's weird. Like this one's like a hard plastic. I mean, it, it's weird. But these are cool. I like these spooky ones. Does anybody remember the 1987, 88 movie Big with Tom Hanks? Here's the F.E.O. Schwartz piano, stepping piano thingy, dance on piano. That's cool. Okay, there's some Halloween stuff out on this aisle. Not a ton. Just like knickknacks and stuff. Look at this mug right here. It's actually a pretty unique mug. This looks like it's handmade for sure. Oh yeah, this is handmade at like a pottery shop or one of those things. Too bad the handle's broken. It's kind of cool though. I like that. What else is there? There's some... Just a little pumpkin. Little Oh, that's plastic. No fun there. A couple cheap dollar store things not a whole lot of Halloween there's this kind of ground steak here I might be able to use that candy bowl oh, McDonald's bucket well I don't think that is but that for sure is McDonald's bucket I mean not Halloween but it's Darth Vader this is pretty cool $5.99 little small child Suitcase, everything works. Rolls, zips up nicely, it's clean. Huh, I'm gonna have to get this for Harper. A little like, you know, day outings or whatever. Cool. All right, came to the back to the little testing area and let's see if this works. Hmm. Nope, does not work. Well, that's why I'm glad I always plug things in. Let's see. Yep, doesn't work, guys. Darn it. Oh well, not a big deal. We're still getting the Darth Vader suitcase though, for sure. All right, so a lot of you guys haven't like seen my house, but I have a big Mickey Mouse plush collection. And here is a, well, it's, it's not super, it's not dirty. It just looks, I guess that's how it's supposed to look. Know, it's like faded, you know? But 249, he's washable. And I don't know what year he's from. But we could put him in a we could put him in the Mickey collection. 249? Why not? Okay, we're gonna give Lowe's another try. I was here last weekend and they had one 
thing up <laughs> like one animatronic up and that was it so let's see either they have a lot or they have two animatronics up what do you think okay not even joking <laughs> but they have two animatronics up what is going on here well it is like super hot out in california it's been like 80s 90s for the last month so fans and air conditioners are uh, taking claim over halloween I was literally just joking when I said they might have two, and there you go, they have two. And they're not even plugged in. This is, uh, what is this? Bluetooth Reaper with drums. Okay. And then Bluetooth Reaper with guitar. So yeah, this is it. This is all I got, guys. We just have a couple Halloween things. And, okay, here they are. Here's the boxes. Oh, okay. And then we got a, 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 I don't know why this was important, but a purple curtain light. Which actually might look cool in my house. <laughs> now that I think about it. Okay, wait, here we go. Here's an eight foot cemetery angel. So that's not on display yet. They got four of these out. And then they have an eight foot animated witch with skulls. So, I, I mean, it's slowly coming, but it's coming. Here we go. There's gonna be a, I guess there's gonna be a scarecrow and a, a spooky clown and a new and improved design of some creepy skeleton. Skeleton? Skeleton? What the heck is a skeleton? Good lord, Corey, what are you doing? Okay, here's the skeleton, um, or the, the scarecrow skeleton. He's got this open chest and he lights up. Look at I got my Burger King because there's no garbage at all. So I'm just carrying it around the store. That's gangsta. Eight foot manor archway. Huh, I kind of don't like that one, actually. I like the one that I used to have at my house, and but I ended up selling that. So I don't have that anymore. Here's a bigger picture. And it's got a couple metal things that'll probably, you know, go into the grass to hold it down, but I just kind of don't like it. Oh, it says Halloween Manor. That's actually pretty cool. I do like that. All right, I changed my mind. I think I like this one now, but it runs on batteries. No bueno. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. This definitely needs to be plugged in and on a timer. Batteries is not going to do good. All right, so the big spirit store that's close to me is right here. And it's still dark. They have the sign up, but they don't have any lights on that I've seen at all every time I've been by here. So no date, just coming soon. But they do have a beautiful sign up there. I love that. Came in for a personal stop to TJ Maxx, and they got Halloween stuff out. All these plushies are like $9. Really good price, $12 for these Mickey and Minnie's. They're all brand new. And they got some Lego buckets, storage head. Got a skeleton, and you got some jack-o'-lanterns. These are 14s, they're a little bit bigger. And then small ones. These are kind of cute though, right? Look at that. That's fun. Very good job, Lego. Lego storage. And we got Halloween stuff here. And it's all very cool. Pillows, fuzzy pillows with skeletons. We got some skull sheets here, which is really cool. Those are fun. I like that. What else do they have? Got some more pillows over here. And we have more pumpkins, pillows. Look at this big old lazy skull chair. It's kind of weird looking, but still cool. $29. Lots of black. Black is good, right? We got some fun Halloween floor mats, little doormats right here. We got uh, Jack Skellington, Mickey. I see a Peanuts here. It's all folded up, and then all kinds of more cool decor stuff. This is fun. Little trick or treat jar, like cookie jar. That is cute. Looks like a bubble gum machine. Nineteen ninety nine. That's very cool. I like that a lot. That's probably one of the funner things I've seen. What is this one? Just a teddy bear. Oh, it looks like it makes a sound, but I don't want to pull off the thing. <gasps> gizmo! Ah, move, guy, move. We got a gizmo. We got a trick-or-treating gizmo. No Halloween candy after midnight. Super cool. He might actually move, too. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! He's, like, all over. <laughs> okay, turn off. Okay, not bad. Oops. All right, this is fun. It's a aroma diffuser. It's a skull changes colors and you can put in your little essential oils that's actually pretty cool i would totally put that in my house 
I have one, but it's just like a multicolor, like magic ball thing. But, oh wow, look at this. Headless Horseman. That is cool. Look at this guy. Oh, he's broken, unfortunately. Someone broke his tail. Darn it. Someone broke his tail, but Headless Horseman would have been so cool. Check this out, guys. I got some five foot black skeletons back here. $29. That is a really good price, and the and the eyes light up. But yeah, regular skeleton. Let's see. Eyes light up white. Very cool. That's a great price, actually. That's just a standard five foot skeleton, guys. That we buy, we've been buying for years. But black, twenty nine dollars. His eyes light up. That's cool. They have a couple others as well. This one's like bronzed. These ones don't light up. And then smaller, hey boo. Well, that's a cool glow in the dark skelly down there. Yeah, it's looking very cool. I like that big wood happy Halloween pumpkin. These look good right here. I like this one. This one's not bad. $29, great price. All right, we got some like creepy Halloween houses over here. Pretty cool. We got some uh, light up pumpkin thingies. Not sure exactly what they are. We got a bunch of crystal skulls, which would make Indiana Jones very, very happy. This one's got devil horns. That's pretty fun. Paint your own witch hat and broom. Yeah, we're getting Halloween guys out here in early August. Lots of home decor stuff here. Got some black, black jack o' lanterns. I know. I think they light up. Um, little serving bowls. Oh, look at this one. A misting cauldron. That's kind of cool. Lots of fun stuff, guys. Kind of dig it. Ooh, look at this. Skeleton and a UFO. That's fun. That would be very popular nowadays. With all the alien invasions we got going on. Here's some skull serving platters that are nice. The candles smell fantastic over here. Lots of pumpkin, guys. No, you can't smell it, but lots of pumpkin and candy corn. Oh, that one's fun. I gotta get that one for Casey. He would love this thing. He loves candy corn. I don't understand candy corn, guys. I'm not a candy corn fan at all. I just don't get it. Oh, that is awesome. Frank and the Bride. Super cool. Alright, I found one more little section of knit and here. And it's kind of just, you know, more decor stuff. But this is really cool, this candle holder. It's clear. So, when you have the candle inside, it's going to glow with this beautiful cemetery. Isn't that nice, guys? It's got bats, creepy trees. We got the crosses and the tombstones. That is super cool. It's only $9. I really like that. Okay, so TJ Maxx sucked because people were following me around and like I was going to steal something because I was videoing. So screw them. Don't go to TJ Maxx. So I came next door to Best Buy and look at this. They've got all these horror toys right here. That is so cool. We got, look at this. Like everything. They got all this horror stuff right here and they have like little plushes. Look at Here's a little ghost face, a little gizmo, a little Kermit the Frog. But look at this. They got a giant... Come on, turn around, mister. A giant ghost face, right? And then they got a small Michael Myers. And then they got a different Michael Myers with a, like a harder head. That's the, this is the one I actually have in my car with me. And then look at this. Here's a big old Michael Myers. He like vibrates. That is so cool. All these little plushies right here. And they got some other ones too. But they got all this horror stuff. I'm like super stoked about this right now. Hold on, let me, let me show you better. All right, there we go. There's the shot right there. Look at all the nice horror plush right here. I love it. And while I was digging, I found a Michael Myers that was still in a bag. So I'm gonna take him home with me. Isn't that cool though? We got some beautiful stuff at Best Buy of all places. They got the good stuff. This is just crazy. What does this Jason look like? Oh, that's the dope one. That one's awesome. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Stop. Very cool. I'm excited, guys. This is this is his score. This is my happy place. I wouldn't have expected to find all this cool stuff at Best Buy. What? What? Yes. So my movie theater's right over there, and I'm not sure if you guys noticed earlier, but I'm rocking all my Haunted Mansion stuff. I got my Haunted Mansion hat, Haunted Mansion glasses, Haunted Mansion shirt, because I want to go see Haunted Mansion 
for the second time in theaters. Um, I really like it. I think it's very cool that they're giving like the true backstory of the ride, like going back to the, its, its origin, and they're giving the, the story of you know Hatbox Ghost. So if you haven't seen ha the uh, <laughs> Haunted Mansion movie, it is really good. It's much better than the Eddie Murphy one. Um, I'm a little biased because I'm you know I'm West Coast, so I'm all about the original Haunted Mansion, and I don't care too much for the Disney World Haunted Mansion. I think Phantom Manor in Disney Paris is pretty badass. Um, but give me an original Haunted Mansion all day long. That's where it's at, guys. But anyways, that's why I'm rocking all the Haunted Mansion stuff today because I'm about to go watch the movie again. So excited. All right, guys. Fingers crossed, Home Depot. Let's see if I got anything. They didn't have a single thing last weekend. Let's see what's going on today. All right, and we still have nothing tools and outdoor furniture it looks like they are starting to clear clearance the uh, outdoor furniture so but this is normally the spot where they keep all the halloween stuff whenever the um, you know season comes around so maybe sometime during the week because this does look like they're trying to compress everything clear off shelves 50 percent off all cushions so maybe by next weekend or midweek they'll have some halloween stuff here but as of right now, still nothing. All right, so still nothing, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know why California is on a different calendar schedule than everywhere else. I'm seeing all my, you know, haunt friends on Facebook and Instagram posting who are in the East Coast and the Midwest, and Halloween stuff is already there, not here. So that sucks. I'm getting, like, impatient now. I'm getting frustrated because why do we get it last? It's not fair. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, short, sweet Halloween hunt. Nothing really amazing that I found except for that, that Michael Myers plush. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep at it, guys. We'll keep Halloween hunting and, uh, yeah, hopefully a lot of Halloween stuff to come. So we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Happy Halloween.